Hey, this is fun. It's a friendly competition between Muskegon's best local restaurants and food trucks, and we get to vote with our taste buds. Ooh, that's right. The Taste of Muskegon is coming soon. And along with that, great food is live music and much more. Here with all the details, this uh, year's marketing director, Lisa Krause. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so well, I'm gonna start with the concerts because of the concert that I know that you want to see. Well, yeah, I, there are two things that I love <laughs> a lot. Our viewers know that I love Wizard of Oz and I love Bloody Marys. And well, three things <laughs> and Journey and Journey. So Sorry. tell us about this journey. concert and Journey too. So let's talk about how this comes into play with the Taste of Muskegon. Yes. Yeah, so Friday night, September 24th, is our tribute to Journey rock show, the ultimate tribute to Journey. So it's not just a tribute; it's the ultimate tribute to Journey. <laughs> we'll be playing. Um, there's all sorts of warm-up bands before that. Uh, they actually have rock show. We'll do um, an 80s tribute prior to coming on with their Journey tribute, and we're going to keep the classics going on. Saturday the 25th with Simply Queen, with the band actually out of Canada that is joining us to do what is, I've heard, an amazing Queen uh, tribute. Oh, I can't wait. I love that. Mm -hmm. Great songs from Journey and Queen, of course, the 80s, 80s rock too. But let's get to the meat of the matter, no pun intended. Uh, that would be all of those local restaurants and food trucks. How many are going to be in this year's competition? We have 30 uh, local food trucks and restaurants joining us. There are a lot of new ones that are coming on board for the first time that we're excited about and a lot of our past winners. Um, some of them are like Curran's Cakes and Catering had been our 2019 People's Choice Award winner. She won during our virtual event last year. So this is our first time in the park. So there's some of them that have, have played the game but haven't actually been in the parks. So it's really exciting to bring that all together. The other thing is we're usually in June. We'll be in June again next year but with everything being a little uncertain this year we pushed it to september which means we get some fall flavors that we don't usually get to celebrate yeah. um, at taste of mesquite so there's beef bourguignon and a, a beer cheese potato soup on the menu Ooh, okay. so there's all sorts of some fun things you don't usually eat in june i've taken that, that. I mean, we've got the family uh, we've gone uh, to this event i do believe i get to do a little judging this year yay so fantastic they're, i was they're... wondering if you were on the list to judge <laughs> but, <laughs> Uh, but the public gets to vote too, right? I mean, there's, there are awards yes. here. This is this is a competition. Yes, we have, I believe, four judged awards, which you're going to do one of those. That's a lot of eating. I hope you have a crew ready to eat Oh, with I'm you. ready. He'll I'm be ready. fine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we also have the People's Choice Award, which is one of the most exciting ones to win. As I said, that was Corinne's last year. Um, we got a lot of people vying for it again this year. Uh, so everybody gets to be a judge. Everybody gets to taste and vote when you're at the park. And we will announce the winners on Saturday at 530. You'll, the winners get a, a really cool taste plate award, um, something to really be proud of. They, they do display those. And it's fun to see those hanging around different restaurants. And real quick, we got about a minute left. The Kid Zone. Kid Zone. Yes, we're going to have a Kid Zone, uh, all sorts of inflatables. We have uh, Miss Michigan will be making an appearance, and I know she'll be hanging out with some of the kids for a while, as well as um, some of the other contestants from Miss Michigan. Um, we are going to have balloon animals and face painting and henna and all sorts of things to keep the kids entertained. Um, other new things are, are popping up this year, too, that we'll be announcing shortly so people can watch us on the Facebook page and Instagram for Taste of Muskegon to see some other new events that we're adding. Awesome. Okay. Looks like a good time. And of course, if you're looking to uh, help out, I'm sure they're always looking for volunteers. We'll get that information up oh, all, online. Use, yeah, we'll make sure that. Cause I, we could use some volunteers yeah. and we even feed you if you volunteer. Oh, there you so. go. And it comes with food. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So let's make sure we if get If you can work for food, we'll, we'll take you. That's great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, great. You've got it at Hackley Park. That's happening September 24th. Uh, right there from 4.30 in the afternoon until 10 o'clock at night with great music, great food. It's something you don't want to miss. All the details at tasteofmuskegon.org.